I would imagine that got stuck on my fingers. <laughs> oh. It's giving me meal for sure. Wow, 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 wow. Oh. Boop, boop, boop. Guys, I just recorded a whole ass clip explaining what we were doing today. And I was recording here, but not there. Shame. Shame on me. Anyways, today I didn't really know what to talk about. So I decided you're gonna come with me on a journey of a thrifting for blank, thrifting for celebrity. If you're not following me on Instagram, you're probably wondering what that is. I'll like pop up an example over here. But we're gonna thrift for no other than the ultimate it girl. She's been on the list for a while, Miss Devin Lee, because she's such an inspo to me and I was listening to her podcast with TK and it just like made me love her even more. I feel like we haven't seen a lot of content from her herself, but okay. Um, I just felt like the timing was right. So we're starting it off. I found a couple jackets. I'll show you guys in a second. They were pretty good. The boots are actually booting today. Look at these sexy little numbers. These are five though. Ugh. That's so tragic because those are really, really cute. We're just gonna kind of go through, have some fun. I may do a few more cuts in this video just because I want to not be quite as chatty, but holy shit, look at these, perfect. They're my size. Made in Italy, square toe boot. Boot, boot, boot. They're browns too, we love a good browns vintage. How much are they though? Can you guys guess? They're 35 bucks, but they're like ultimate pristine black booty these are also sick these are very much giving Devin oh, they're a good brand too Sonia Ra Raquel I also have a coupon today so your girl is pumped it's Friday I'm just happy to be here filming this with you guys so let's get to some inspo I feel like she always has so many fun bags and stuff like that too so like I've been having a big paisley moment I just can't tell if it's giving like too much art teacher chuggy. I feel like if anyone could pull that off, it would be Devon, so I'm gonna keep it in the cart as an option. Like, she would definitely wear something like this, too. That's pretty stunning. It's cute. But yeah, when I do these, oh my god, wait, this is a better beaded one. But it's $22. Sorry, Devon, that's too expensive for me. And this is cute. It's new with tags, too. I feel like she's just queen of like knowing what's in style but also like sticking true to her style which I love like I feel like she's always worn animal prints and it's never been like a trend based thing for her which I kind of feel like I'm the same like I just freaking love a good leopard print or zebra print as long as it's like made well Franco Sarto it's a good brown bag I mean, to grab that for myself, even though I have so many brown bags right now. So I probably won't. I think my goal before the end of the year, because it's pretty crazy that 2023 is like coming to a wrap, which honestly I'm not like upset about. I feel like it was a bit of a weird year, but I would love for like someone to acknowledge my thrifting four series. And if it was Devin, I would just like cry. How Devin is this? It's missing one gem, but I feel like that's pretty replaceable. Maybe I can get a discount. A lot of good bags. I'm hoping this is gonna set the tone today. Lots of good beaded bags. Let's take a look at shoes. I do not know what shoe size she is. Oh my God, I keep seeing cute bags, but I wanna go to down shoes. It's like, it's a conflict. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. These are all very Devon core, which is me at the core of it all. But yeah, we're just gonna look at eight, eight and a half, cause that's my size. I feel like she's a bigger size than that. But realistically, shoes are just, we have to be very picky with them these days. But yeah, this is kind of my process. I just like go through everything and anything that speaks to me that I'm feeling, I'm like, oh. Oh, those are cute, but they're 20, 20 little boots. Um, okay. I could see her in these. A good little purple moment with a buckle. 
it's giving me meal for sure. My cart's like already full of shoes and bag. We found like a Burberry or YSL piece today because she is that girl. These are also really cute. They just look wide. These are giving Gucci horse fit, but I watched a video all about dry rods the other day because if you know, you know, again, like if you're a thrifter, you've probably come across something that's crumbling, especially a pair of shoes. And maybe I'll link that TikTok down below because the woman was like super educated. She knew her shit. And I was like, dry rot is a form of mold. That's fucking disgusting. So there's mold on your feet and then you're just breathing it in. And I was like, okay, we need to, we need to end this. So I'm going by her policy of like really testing out the shoes now when you see them because I'm not messing not messing around with mold. Let's do skirts and sets. I feel like she's a queen of sets. She loves a mini, mini skirt, which can sometimes be hard to find, but reminder, you can always take your scissors to a cute skirt and cut it. Like I feel like this banana, ow, Republic skirt could be cute and her very Mimi if you just, maybe. Even this gold skirt. That's fine. Skirts are skirting. Did I? It's got that like plasticky, sticky feeling though. You know what I'm saying? This is Devon Core. It's giving realization par. What's the brand? For sure. That mini with like a little slit is very, very cute. I see a Danier two piece. Okay. It's only $29. That is a sexy slay. She's given corporate but she's got her shit together. She can do it all, superwoman energy. This is also a really cute set. Let's look at the gowns. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's blue, it's sparkly. It's stunning and it's only $5.99. Promise it's the last singing you'll hear from me today. This would be a great Cinderella costume. Okay, that's a gorgeous little number. It's just missing the tie in the back, but that's okay. This is kind of giving YSL couture. It's just too much for me. I honestly hate going through pants. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Put in that arm work. Oh, 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 oh. If you'd like Paris, you go. Always looking like three sizes too big for you because they fit tiny. But look at these stunning little Parasuko velvet pots. It's a flare, confirmed. Very dabbing. Ew, I'm content. I'm only gonna grab jeans if there's like a stunning pair that speaks to me. These are very dabbing. I just can't do a low rise but she would play those. So Devlin, call me up if you want me to run back and get these weeks later. No, just kidding. I've been pretty on top of my uploading in terms of getting this shit up weekly. So let me know which format you guys prefer. If you wanna see like more behind the scenes of thrifting for celebrities, more questions. I feel like we can go back and forth, bounce around getting the hang of this, so. I need to make more eye contact with the camera. That was one note. It's just hard when like my eyes are darting everywhere. Those are really good guest jeans. They're just gonna be too small for moi. Look at cutie sweater. Ooh, it's Kangol. I feel like she'd wear something like this. This like neck. It reminds me of that Gap one that she has, that vintage Gap one that's on my list. It's also very Devin, I was just thinking, manifest a little fluffy sweater. But I already have so much like that because I'm obsessed with that style. So I don't really know what else sweater-wise we can look for. Pop, oh, I might see it over here. I might see it over here. Good little Cardi. Oh, baby, this, this with those purple shoes. This is speaking my language. See, if I wasn't thrifting for Devin, I don't know if I would have picked that up. But regardless, it's gonna challenge me to get out of my comfort zone. 
And I like purple. I think something important about like when you're taking inspo from other people's styles is to know your colors. Like for instance, I know gray washes me out, but I love this and I might see someone rocking it and I just need to like acknowledge that maybe I can wear it but in a different color. Very Devon. Something about these colors I feel like are very her. And the little buttons up there could be a cute option. I don't know where to go next. I feel like we've got such a good base going here. We did pants. We need to do normal dresses. Oh my God, I see another sweater. I know there was gonna be so many sweaters that spoke to me today. But this, it's also very Devon. I don't know if I'm just going for the sweaters that look like the cap on you guys, but not something like that. That could also be her. It's just a little boring. It's a little boring. That's a little boring. Because I love a men's oversized sweater, but I feel like a woman's oversized sweater just isn't the vibe, because this is just enough. I think one of the reasons I love Devin's style so much is that she just knows how to pair key pieces together without doing like so much layering, because I, I love a good layering moment, but at the same time, I feel like there's a lot in fashion now where people are like, not over layering because I don't want to sound like super critical. Anyone can do whatever they want, obviously. But in my opinion, just like, it looks like a lot of elements going on. I personally find it easier to not do that. The pierced, yeah, I got a piercing today. <laughs> I'm so lame. Just let me know. If you guys agree with that sentiment, she just, I feel like a good outfit doesn't need to have all like the zhuzhing, I think is what I'm trying to say. It can be a good, like simple outfit, but still slay and stand out. And that's really Devin's secret talent. She's a star. She's a fashion star. Interesting neckline. I feel like she wears like interesting, unique silhouettes and necklines too, but everything's still flattering on her somehow everything tailored that must be the secret to her success <laughs> I feel like I really need to find a tailor then I'll be content you guys won't see me thrifting anymore that wouldn't be any fun I just want one good job oh shit that quite literally just snapped on me I'm sorry Valley Village lingerie is very dove encoded but Will we find a good piece today? Oh, very Sydney. But I literally picked this exact same thing up here like two weeks ago. I learned so much on that podcast, you guys. Um, so go listen to it. I'll have it linked down below. I feel like TK did a really good interview, asked Devin all the questions like we wanted to know. And they talked more about how she styled Olivia Rodrigo in the Good For You music video. And it was super interesting because Apparently she was like called to the job a couple days before the shoot and she's not a stylist either. Um, so she was like saying she was really anxious about it and I just thought that was super sick how she got that opportunity. But you know, she, good to know she's like a normal person, like felt nervous as well. Um, but she's also just like the humblest human being ever. Like when she talks about her accomplishments and it's just crazy how humble that girl truly is. Okay, she would wear this. This little chateau dress with the open cutouts. Yeah, the whole like styling thing. She was saying how she like ran out to a bunch of thrift stores and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm just not <laughs> getting this stuff out anywhere. It's just sitting in my house. So if you ever need help with that, the Canadian thrift stores are well stocked for an olympus kind of diamond can't tell what this neckline is doing is it off the shoulder that could be cute but how darling is that <gasps> this with the purple oh that with the purple sweater and the purple flats. okay i'm getting excited to like style these looks so those will be on my instagram okay i know i don't have much time left on this camera it's definitely been a journey already. So I need to know what else we should hit. 
maybe a couple vests. We're gonna go through one of the long ass rows of coats. I still have to show you guys those coats that I found at the start. They were more like jackets though, like leather jackets. I don't know how they categorize these to be honest, but I guess they're like wintry more over here. It's crazy because I come here quite often and I see jackets that I show and then they're still here and I'm like, why has no one taken these yet? And then I'm like, am I just picking up ugly things? And I'm like, no, it can't be. I love my stuff. Gap kids. Oh, this is like the same era of Gap as the iconic Gap sweater. This is just a good staple piece for anyone to have in their wardrobe. I don't know if this is Devin's style, but I love a vest. This is your sign to start growing your vest collection. Okay. Where did I put the tank tops? Because those would definitely be worth checking out. It felt sticky. Oh, there's nothing that like gives me the chills more than that leather that feels like plastic. Thanks for the fourth row of jackets, you guys. It's old Jacob. I feel like this section shrinking is good because it's kind of hidden. I feel like she needs to have her early 2000s TNA moment. It's crazy that like we grew up with TNA here, but I guess they wouldn't have unless they were really on the ball, which I wouldn't be surprised. I'm feeling pretty dang confident in what we've picked up here, you guys. Maybe I'll check out the Halloween section just to get spicy, but if we get caught off, just know the haul is going to be amazing. I'm excited for this one. Let me know if you've actually ever gotten your costume from the like curated Halloween section. Don't do sunglasses. Sunglasses are vital. Vital. This is gonna be our last stop, you guys. The coveted sunnies. We all know she loves her like black little ones, but I found my friends. I don't ever think I actually showed it in a video, but I found her these 2006 Gucci glasses and I gave them to her for her birthday. <laughs> they were hard to part with, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, you guys are getting my POV. See a cute uh, Marc Jacobs necklace, it's kind of cute. The glasses, it looks like there's some potentials, like those brownish ones I kind of want to see. These pinkish ones, I kind of want to see. Even these, those could be something. I'm not loving them, to be honest. Could I take these rings, this palette of rings? Thank you. I'm not gonna take them, but thank you. Um, slay. Oh my God, imagine that got stuck on my finger. <laughs> it's definitely a toe ring. Kind of gross. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Okay, I'm gonna take these three. Do I need to keep them here? Um, can I also see that there's two bags back there? The plaid one and then the sparkly one next to it, please. Little foe. Okay, thank you. Okay, I found some sucks a bit trains. <laughs> oh, there's my glasses. Already stoked on my new bling, you guys. Not even gonna lie, but I wanna check the belts quickly. This is very dumb on. It's a sickening belt. Doesn't even have a price. Okay, way cuter than the first hat that I found. Also new with tags. But, okay, I'm gonna wrap it here. The cart is looking good. I'll give you guys an overview because I feel like I never do that. But look how good she's looking, the accessories, this. It's stunning, it's great. But let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if you want another behind the scenes, we will call it. But go to my Instagram for the final results. Love ya.